Hey guys, so today I wanted to go over and do a quick comparison video between a Muay Thai style glove and a conventional boxing glove. Now I've had a couple of questions in the past about, hey, uh, what should I use? I'm you know, going to do some Muay Thai kickboxing MMA. Um, do you recommend I use a Muay Thai glove or a boxing glove? Well, um, that question is a little bit harder to answer, so I decided just to kind of go over each glove and then you can decide from there which one's right for you. Now on my left I have these 16 ounce Sanibel Muay Thai gloves and on my right I have um, these new sporting uh, Grant style uh, conventional uh, boxing gloves in 16 ounce. So um, you can see that there are some big differences here and I will point out um, on the Muay Thai gloves and most of them whether it's Fairtex, Windy, Twins, uh, whatever it may be, they always, always almost have a shorter cuff. Um, the reason for that uh, aside from the shorter cuff, they have a big hinge joint right here as well where the cuff meets the top part of the glove is that they um, use that for the Muay Thai clinch. So when they clinch and they wrap their hands around their opponent's head and they want to hit them with knees or elbows or bring their, bring their head down, um, they need that flexibility uh, with this glove, hence why the cuff is shorter. Um, the other thing you also notice with a lot of Muay Thai gloves is that they distribute the majority of the padding to the back and to the top of the hand. Um, and that's for defense protection. So unlike boxing, they're getting kicked, they're getting kneed, and they're getting elbowed. Um, so you're going to need that extra protection, especially when you're raising your guard up in Muay Thai. The other thing with the Muay Thai gloves uh, that's different is that you'll notice that with these, and even with the Venoms and some of those Top King gloves, you'll notice that the palm has an extra layer of foam padding, um, and that, again, is to protect um, from getting hit from kicks and elbows and knees uh, for parrying shots, especially if you're in a clinch and they're trying to bring your head down to knee you in the, into the you know, solar plexus or even to the face area. Um, you can cross your hands and essentially use your palms to prevent yourself from getting uh, kneed into the, into the face. So. Um, those are the main differences between the glove weight um, is pretty much the same you know whether it's 14 16 16 ounces is 16 ounces um, thumb placement is obviously more for comfort um, being able to make a natural fist so that's going to be pretty much the same as your conventional boxing glove um, every brand they do different thumb placement so find the right one that fits you the best um, and then padding this one uses a multi-layer uh, polyure uh, polyurethane foam so the padding is essentially, you know, subjective as well, um, very similar to what boxing gloves use as well. Um, these would be perfect for um, all around the gym work, basically hitting the heavy bag, double end bag, um, doing mitt work, sparring, whatever it may be. So that's the Muay Thai glove in a nutshell. Um, and here is the conventional glove. The biggest difference between the, the conventional glove and that one is the distribution, uh, distribution of weight. So you can see um, here the foam on the back of the hand on the top is more evenly distributed. You're not getting kicked in the head. You're not getting kneed. And the biggest thing um, is the cuff is much longer and there's a lot more robust uh, padding around your wrist area. Um, because in boxing, um, you're only throwing punches and your hands are your investment, right? So the biggest thing with that is protecting your investment. So before slipping your hands into these gloves, um, you wanna make sure your hands are wrapped up nicely to make sure that all of those uh, ligaments and bones and whatnot in between your wrist and your hands are secured like a cast and by the time you slip them into these gloves it creates like one whole piece so when you're throwing punches for however how many rounds you're you're doing on the heavy bag whether it's sparring or you're in a professional fight um, you come out essentially with your hands being um, in good shape and you don't have anything that's broken uh, or uh, overly sore so um, padding you know again use a multi-layer um, these use a latex style but um, there are definitely uh, boxing gloves that use sa the same polyurethane style padding there um, so those are the big differences you do also have the anti-thumbing uh, attached thumb there same thing here with the Muay Thai gloves so you don't poke anybody in the eye um, stitching is great on both quality on um, both uh, um, you know is really nice as well so uh, those are the main differences between a Muay Thai and a conventional style boxing glove. Um, you could essentially use either one for either sport, uh, but if you're a little bit more serious about it or if you have wrist injuries, 
Um, then I would definitely stick to your boxing gloves if you're in boxing. And then of course, if you're in Muay Thai and you're using a lot of clinching, you're using your kicks and your knees a lot more, then um, it's gonna be much harder to be able to do or to function in that sport with this kind of glove uh, rather than it is in your traditional Muay Thai glove. So um, I appreciate you guys watching the video. If you guys have any feedback or any questions, uh, please let me know.